Hi everyone, Arn here to show you how to add MooBot to your channel. Uh, like we have a set up for computer chess here, you can see that a timer has gone off showing people where they can go with a link to get the full computer chess experience. Um, we can also request specific commands like if I'm a viewer and I want to know what kind of CPU is being used in the computer chess championship. I can type exclamation CPU in chat, hit enter, and if MooBot is nice to us, it will respond with a predetermined uh, response that we can set up for ourselves. So here we go. Okay, so in your browser, you can type MooBot.tv and it'll take you to this page. Uh, I'm gonna do this with a fresh Twitch account that has never tried to set up MooBot before. So you'll see exactly what you would see if you haven't done it either. I click connect with Twitch. It's going to ask me to authorize stuff. I'll say sure. And then that will bring us to the main page. You can take the guided tour if you like, but I'm just going to skip all of that. So I'm going to click skip. And there we go. Now the first thing to note is this information up here, which explains to you how to get MooBot to actually be active in your channel. It says MooBot is currently not detected as a mod and will remain inactive until detected. So we're going to first add MooBot as a mod to our channel. So go to your channel, click in your own chat, and type slash mod MooBot. Hit enter. And now MooBot should be a moderator. There won't be a response here. Now let's go back. And then it says enter exclamation MooBot space moderate. So I'm going to type that. Exclamation MooBot space moderate. And enter. And now we should receive a message where it says attempting to manually detect moderator status. And that should be good. I don't think we have to wait for any other continuation of that response. So now let's go back to our MooBot page. We're going to do a few things. So let's start out by going to the first one here, Features. Click that. There's a lot of stuff in here. And feel free to explore all of that on your own time. But there are a couple things that I think are worth doing right away. The first one I would recommend is chat subscriber notifications. Get notified in chat when someone subscribes to the channel. Now obviously you have to be an affiliate or a partner on Twitch for this to work. Notice how I go to hover to turn it on. It says Twitch subscription program not detected. Initial detection may take up to 40, uh, sorry, 24 hours. So uh, you may have to wait for a while and check back to turn this on. And then you can customize the messages. You can actually make multiple messages that rotate whenever someone subscribes so that every subscriber is not seeing the same uh, pre-written message. Uh, the other one that you should enable is Twitch stream commands, letting moderators change the stream's title and game right from Twitch chat with exclamation game, exclamation title. They can even trigger commercials if you're a partner. Definitely turn that on. It's going to ask you to grant some additional privileges. So we'll click sure. And then you're good to go. I think those are the only ones that really matter off the bat. Make sure they go back after that waiting period to enable the uh, notifications in chat when you get new subs. All right, so the next section we want to look at is commands. And this is where you're going to enter, go to command list. And then this is where you're going to actually create commands that people can trigger in chat, just like we did before with CPU. Uh, let's do Twitter first. Exclamation Twitter. And we'll create it. And then it'll take us to the menu where we type in the response that we want for that. So uh, follow me on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash uh, and then we'll make up a name like that one. Okay. And pretty much that's all you've got to do. Don't worry about the rest of this if you don't want to and you just want a simple response. And there you go. Now if we go to our chat, it should be active. Exclamation Twitter. And there you go. That's your command right there. Working just great. Now here's the thing. When you're creating those, you can also go ahead and add them to a timer. Of course, we need to make a default timer. And so we'll click default and click save. Now let's show what it looks like to actually put this into a timer. So now we're going to go to command, command timers, 
We're gonna to go to the default timer, which is on, and that's great. It shows that there's currently one command in rotation. Let's click the edit button. We can determine how many minutes have to pass before triggering a command, and the minimum number of chat lines which need to occur in your chat before triggering a command. And then this also shows the list of commands that are currently in rotation. You can add commands that you've already added by going here and looking for them. Obviously there's nothing else in the dropdown because we haven't created any other commands yet. So let's create another command. We'll go to command list and we'll call this one uh, YouTube. Let's create that. <clears throat> Uh, find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash that doesn't matter if I misspelled that because we're just showing you stuff okay cool now notice I didn't add it to the default timer when I created it uh, whoopsie let's fix that go to command timers there's the default timer let's edit that and let's add a command and find the YouTube one and add command now that's in there as well and click Save Awesome. So now we should have two commands. And if you ever want to turn your timers off for whatever reason, just click that and now they're off. Click it again and they're back on. Notice that you can also create new timers and set up different commands to be in different sets of timers. So you can have a couple timers running continuously but with different settings. Okay. Let's move on to the next thing. All right. So now let's go into spam filters. Go to the first one, spam filter settings. And now here's where a lot of people get timed out because of these settings. Excessive use of caps. If you don't want people to use a ton of capital letters all at once, you can turn this on. Remove messages censored by the Twitch profanity filter. If you just want to be sure nobody can use banned words, you can turn that on. Excessive use of emotes if people are spamming a lot of emotes. Now some channels, like mine, I actually like it when people can go crazy with emotes, so I'm gonna leave that off. Fake purges, this is when somebody pretends that their message got deleted by typing it the same way that uh, Twitch would remove it. If you don't want people to do that so then it looks like they're being over-moderated when they're really not, you could turn that on. If you don't want anyone to use links in your chat, you can turn this on. And if there are specific links that you do want to be available, aside from all the rest, you can whitelist them by clicking this whitelist link and then typing in links that you think should be allowed. Uh, let's see, uh, I don't really care too much about that one. Spamming is another one, removes messages with repeated letters, phrases, or words, or other disruptive behavior. Excessive use of symbols, uh, yeah, I like that one. Most people don't do it though. And then overly lengthy messages, where somebody types you uh, an entire chapter in a novel or something, and you don't like that, turn it on. There's a couple other spam filter settings in here. You can create uh, blacklisted phrases. So if you know exact phrases that you definitely don't want used in your chat, you can enter them there. And here's where you can add whitelisted links. And there's a little bit of an explanation of different ways that you can enter that in to make sure that the links that you want to work will work. The last feature I want to show you is editors, and this is pretty important. This is where you can add trusted individuals that you would like to have permission to modify your MooBot settings at any point without having to be logged into your Twitch account. So let's add one. I'm going to add myself, and there I go. That's all you have to do. And now, if I'm logged into my Twitch account and I log into MooBot, I can select the ability to go into your dashboard and help adjust your MooBot for you. I can also trigger those commands that we talked about earlier, like if I need to change your stream title. We found that in the features section by going to Twitch stream commands. Moderators and editors will have no problem doing this. Last thing, if you want to know some commands that are available in MooBot that are embedded in MooBot itself, you can click command list at the top and it will give you all kinds of examples of commands that you can use or are already enabled for you by default. 
All right, everybody. Thanks.